thank is the Thyroid Head and Neck Cancer Foundation. It was founded in 2003. We're celebrating our 10th year. We've accomplished a lot of great things. At the core of what the foundation is about is the ability to advance research as well as educate the next generation of physicians and finally to help to improve the quality of life of the patients both while they're going through treatment as well as afterwards. There are so many exciting things that are going on right now that are really in their infancy and can only happen if we have the resources that will allow us to take them to their fullest development. My son was diagnosed with thyroid cancer when he was 16 years old. It was a very stressful time for me and my family and really didn't know what to expect. My son dealt with many, many different doctors. Uh, the process was not integrated and very frustrating. Uh, we felt that the communication between physicians was something that probably could have been vastly improved. And we just hoped that things were not being lost in the cracks. So the TCCC is an online database that provides all of the information related to a thyroid cancer patient's history, their laboratory information, what's done in surgery, their pathology. Everything is stored within this one internet-based application. And hopefully allows the patient to be better taken care of by multiple specialists that all have the same data, all have the same sharing information. So from a, a very simple database, which is what we started off with, the TCC has evolved into offering so much more. It provides tremendous amount of patient education. We asked several of the very famous thyroid specialists in the United States to sort of explain what they explain to patients in their office, and then Dr. Kumar very nicely videotaped these. Until recently, thyroid nodules were generally discovered by a patient at home or by a physician during a routine physical exam. They're designed both for patients to look at in the privacy of their home to be able to rewind and look at it and understand, but they're also designed to be used in the physician's office. It provides an opportunity for clinical research. So because all of that database is in one data set, we can ask tremendously important research questions that are not just centered at one hospital, but these are patients taken care of by multiple doctors at multiple places. So I think it's going to be one of the fascinating resources as the system gets up and running to see that database evolve. All of this data provides us with a key to being able to answer so many questions that remain unanswered in the management of thyroid cancer. The only way we can accomplish that is being able to collect that information over the course of decades. We have what we call decision-making modules where it asks the physicians and clinicians for specific pieces of information about that individual patient and then provides them specific advice with the type of surgery they may need, whether or not they need radioactive iodine, even down to the details of what dose of thyroid hormone pills should you be on. I truly believe that the TCCC is a model for disease management of more than just thyroid cancer. The Head and Neck Cancer Guide is a comprehensive website aimed to help patients, their caregivers, and family members through their journey with head and neck cancer. Six years ago, I was um, the caregiver to my husband, Jason, who had squamous cell carcinoma. The moment you hear the word cancer, you it's shock and awe. I have two sons, and they were 15 and 18 when Jason was diagnosed. I think it's really hard to hear as a kid that your parent has cancer. And there was no website for kids, even for teenagers, for them to hear the words that they were going to hear. I didn't understand half the words. And so I wish there was a better way that I could have told my children. The Head and Neck Cancer Guide provides a resource for patients and their families so that they can understand their disease, they learn about the treatment options, they learn about what the effect is going to be on them, and to give them a sense that they're part of a community of other patients and caregivers that have gone through this and make that journey a lot easier. With the treatments that we have today, there's so much hope. There's so many things they can do for you. It's a particularly difficult to explain that to children or to adolescents who are gonna be affected by the treatment. And to do it in a way that they can understand was really at the core of this project. I was diagnosed with larynx cancer. In the last 26 years, 
progress that has been made and the changes that the, the researchers help produce, that to me is worth everything. There are critical questions that we need to answer in head and neck cancer and head and neck surgery that can only be answered through performing research. The THANK Functional Outcomes Research Center defines patient outcomes. Research is really pretty critical to see how, how the treatment really impacts the patient. We're really going to the next step to see how are these treatments really affecting patients and how can we change those treatments to maximize their functioning after their treatment. I think it's tremendously gratifying to know that what in the grand scheme of things is a very short time ago that what we can do for patients now is so dramatically different than what we could um, back then. So to me, one of the key things that THINK has done is to help us educate doctors. It's both the research and the education piece that will have a lasting reputation. So the research analysts become very much part of the life of the foundation. I like to think that I contributed a lot to thank as a research analyst. However, the return I got in the amount of education in head and neck surgery was beyond what I could have ever expected. Basically, any new change, any innovation that's come about has been because of research. Specifically, with its quality of life research, I think it's really great to see the research coming from the ground up, seeing it being decoded, um, analyzed, and then being implemented and actually seeing the results in the faces of the patients, um, their family, their children, their parents, and really the great impact that this foundation is having. So the THANK Foundation itself has had a major impact on educating clinicians. They bring clinicians in from all over the world, not only the teachers but also doctors to learn. And it's a very intense course on how we manage cancer right now. It's amazing, you teach those people sitting in a room, a few hundred people, and then they go back to their states, they go back to their countries, and they begin to implement the ways that we're doing things here. Through the courses that we've run over the past 20 years, we've been able to impact on the careers of surgeons from all over the globe, and they in turn have been able to provide care for head and neck cancer patients and patients with thyroid cancer from all over the world. One of the most gratifying things has been uh, to hear from physicians and surgeons that have taken our programs and give us feedback on what they're able to do now that they never could have been able to do if they hadn't attended some of these postgraduate programs that we've offered over the past uh, two decades. Fellowship run by the Thank Foundation is just in my opinion, unparalleled in, in head and neck cancer programs around the country. So the THANK Foundation uh, basically sponsors the fellow to become the fellow with Dr. Erkin and his cancer team. For me, it's, it's really about mentors and individuals that provided leadership for me and um, really took me under their wing. And through those relationships of, of mentor to student, I really became keenly aware of what the role that those individuals had in my development and my career and the impact that I could potentially have in the development of other surgeons. My fellowship experience actually defines exactly what I do uh, to this day. It also instilled in me a great sense of wanting to not only practice uh, these techniques but also educate the next generation of physicians and to this day I feel the whisper of Dr. Erkin in my head sometimes about doing certain techniques one way or another and I think uh, my trainees uh, feel uh, the same way. Educating residents, educating fellows ensures the quality of the future of head and neck cancer care for patients who have yet to be diagnosed with this disease. I think when I reflect upon my career, one of the things that I'm going to be most proud of, that I'm already most proud of, is what we've been able to do through the foundation. Thank is growing, thankfully. So the Thank Foundation itself has had a major impact, touching thousands of lives of people you've never seen. Without the support of patients, friends, we would never have been able to accomplish what we've been able to do. Really, the only way for us to carry out our mission is if people support the work of Thank. 
As a surgeon, I can only impact on those patients who I take care of, but we've been able to have a tremendous impact on patients from around the world, on family members, on the disease process itself that I could never have done without the foundation.